Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Algae Curse The ancient Maya suffered from a curse of toxic algae. According to researchers from the University of Cincinnati, ancient Maya cities had such bad pollution in their water that it probably swept away dozens of cities as they were crippled by a devastating plague. And it was all because of algae. When these researchers looked at the ancient city of Tikal, which was built by the Maya in northern Guatemala in the 3rd century BC, they found something shocking. They looked at the four central reservoirs from where the civilians would have gotten their drinking water. What they found was toxic levels of pollution in all four of them. It's already suspected that drought beginning in the 9th century helped with the depopulation and the later abandonment of Tikal. But thanks to this new study, it looks like toxic water making everyone sick probably had a lot to do with it as well. In fact, it would have been a pretty traumatizing event for the Maya, who didn't understand what was happening. Their reservoirs had been miraculous pools of life, which people could drink out of and stay healthy. And suddenly, they had turned into places of disease, and just drinking water caused them to get sick. Researcher Kenneth Tankersley says the cyanobacteria inside the water would have made it extremely toxic, and there would have been algae blooms right on the surface of the water, which would have been visibly poisonous. The Maya undoubtedly believed that they had been cursed by the gods, and when the city was finally nothing but a cesspool of sick humans, everybody left. Number 9. Drought in Arabia 1,500 years ago, the Arabian Peninsula was hit by a devastating drought. This drought caused the collapse of the Himyarite Kingdom, which created a power vacuum and led to the spread of Islam across the world. The Himyarite Kingdom had an economy focused on agriculture. Their entire world was held together by an irrigation system, which transformed the deserts of Yemen into fertile fields for growing crops. This was what allowed the great kingdom to flourish for 300 years. But in the 6th century, they were struck by a curse. There was simply no more rain. Between the years 500 and 530, these people didn't get nearly the amount of rain they needed to keep their agricultural system going. This led to unimaginable strife within the kingdom and had them being conquered shortly after by the Aksumites of modern Ethiopia. It was at the time that the Himyar were collapsing that Islam began to spread in earnest. Everyone in the region was so distraught from the drought and the war that people were looking for something new to believe in. It started in Saudi Arabia around 632, spread through most of the Middle East by 661, and had made it to as far as northern Spain by 750. Number 8. Cursed with Neanderthal Gene Modern human beings still have a lot of the genes from our Neanderthal ancestors. Sadly for some, they have been cursed with a very specific Neanderthal gene that actually opens up human cells to coronaviruses and increases the severity of the sickness. This was just discovered during the COVID-19 panini when researchers realized that an ancient gene passed down through generations spanning hundreds of thousands of years was making some people sicker than others. Some may think it's a curse to be born with a gene for red hair, or the one that causes male pattern baldness. But the real curse is getting the bad Neanderthal gene that makes you more susceptible to sickness. Here's the science behind it. Researchers say there is a small yet very significant number of people who have a certain gene variant from the extinct hominin called the Neanderthal. This gene variant doubles and sometimes quadruples the risk of major complications when infected with COVID-19. It all has to do with an enzyme called DPP4. This protein is what allows a coronavirus to bind with human cells, but those who have the DPP4 Neanderthal variant are given a second door into the cells, which allows for maximum infection. It's too bad there's no cheap way for people to check their own genome and see how much of their own DNA is made up from ancient Neanderthal DNA. Because even though some people are cursed with this unfortunate variant in their genes, others are blessed with their own specific variant that actually protects against COVID-19, also passed down from Neanderthals. Confusing, I know. And now for number seven. But first, it's shout out time. I wanted to say a big thank you to Caroline Terizola and daughter and Scott Dunbar for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 7. The Black Death The Black Death was the most lethal plague in history. 
it's hard to even call this thing a curse. It was more like the worst event ever. The bubonic plague made its way across Eurasia and North Africa for over 200 years, between 1346 and 1553, and broke down 60% of the human population. To give you a rough idea of what that would mean in modern times, it would be like if around 4 billion people were killed. Those who suffered during these horrible days must have really thought the world was ending, or that they were in some kind of biblical apocalypse. The whole world had been cursed, and no civilization was spared. But of course, humanity recovered, the plague went away, and things got back to business as usual. Finally, after almost 500 years, scientists know exactly where the original Black Death patient came from. We're talking about patient zero, the one who started the whole terrible mess. Scientists have tracked the first case back to Kurdistan, to the region of Isik Kul. This was once a major stop on the Silk Road in the 14th century. There is evidence in the form of a higher number of burials in the year 1338 and 1339. This was about seven years before the actual plague outbreak. It looks like something happened in this region which started the disease, and then from Isik Kul, it spread over many decades to the rest of the world. Number 6. The Curse of Cyprus in 2008, archaeologists found a bizarre curse inscribed on a lead tablet on the southern coast of Cyprus. The curse comes from the old city kingdom of Amathus, which ruled the island in the 7th century. While this curse may not have brought down any great civilizations, it may have brought down one guy who angered the wrong person. The ancient curse is about as simple as it gets. The inscription on the tablet reads, May your male part hurt when you make love. Somebody was obviously trying to curse a man so they couldn't be intimate anymore. The curse also showed the image of a man holding an hourglass in his right hand. This was almost like a warning, meaning the curse victim's time was up. According to Pierre Albert from the Athens Archaeological School in Greece, the curse is obvious evidence of witchcraft or shamanism. This is pretty remarkable because in the 7th century, Christianity was very much established in Amathus. It shows that even when Christianity was rooted strongly in one place, people would still turn to witches and dark magic when they needed to curse somebody's private parts. Number 5. Rome's Volcanic Collapse There was a volcanic eruption in Alaska that probably erupted sometime around early in 43 BC. Scientists believe this volcanic eruption triggered a climatic event which hastened the end of the Roman Republic. This isn't the Roman Empire, but the Republic that came before it. During the years 43 and 42 BC, Europe and North Africa were unseasonably cold and extremely rainy. In fact, it was colder than it had been in 2,500 years. Crops failed, famine broke out, and disease spread. There was social unrest, political upheaval, and Rome was quickly thrown into chaos. The volcano that blew its top was Mount Okmok on Umnak Island. The eruption was so big and powerful that climate scientists believe it caused the temperature to plunge 13 degrees Fahrenheit for two years straight in the Mediterranean. This may not have completely crippled Rome had it not come at the wrong time. The Republic was already on shaky grounds and seemed doomed to fail. Political and economic trouble was only worsened by the curse of darkness and cold that descended on Rome and scared the pants off the citizens. They were so terrified by whatever was happening that the freak weather pushed everyone over the edge. Julius Caesar was assassinated by 40 Roman senators, and the Roman Republic was dead. Number 4. The Curse of Akkad 4,000 years ago, the Akkadian Empire ruled over much of Mesopotamia. This was such a highly advanced society that they had roads spread all across the region and even boasted their own functioning postal service. The Babylonians and Assyrians, whose names you might be more familiar with, wouldn't come for many years later. And while those later civilizations may have done incredible things like invent geometry and look to the stars, the Akkadian Empire came first and laid the groundwork. For 200 years, they were the only power residing between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in control of Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Turkey, and Iran. But just like the Sumerians who came before them, the Akkadians were destroyed. It happened around 2150 BC, 
when the rulers of Akkad lost their power and the whole thing collapsed. Archaeologists typically blame the unsustainable conquest strategy of Akkad for their downfall. The kings simply wanted to keep on pillaging and conquering, and this caused them to stretch themselves too thin and crumble. On the other hand, it could have been a curse. Shortly after the empire declined, a poem titled The Curse of Akkad was written. It told the story of Sargon I's grandson, Naram Sin, and how he plundered the temple of a weather god. It was such a despicable thing to do that the god cursed Naram Sin and the entire Akkadian empire to death. The poem says that after the curse, suddenly there was no grain. The skies refused to rain and the people grew weak from hunger. While this may seem like just a story, it could actually be true. The part about the curse is probably just flair, but the bit about the lack of food and rain could be historically accurate. It could be that Akkad collapsed because it didn't rain, and they all ran out of food. Number 3. Comet Impact From between roughly 200 BC and 300 AD, there was a vibrant and unique culture living in the Ohio Valley of North America. They were called the Hopewell Culture, and most historians believe them to be the ancient ancestors of modern Native American tribes, like the Iroquois and the Algonquin. We know about the Hopewell because of the structures they left behind. All across the Ohio Valley are ancient mounds around 2,000 years old, and plenty of other artifacts. They were definitely here, and they were surprisingly sophisticated considering how long ago it was. But believe it or not, these ancient Native Americans may have met their end following a dramatic comet impact about 1,600 years ago. Their curse came from the sky. Researchers looked at 11 different archaeological sites and found fragments of micrometeorites. The only thing that makes sense is that these tiny fragments of meteorite rained down over the whole area following a violent airburst. One second, everything had been perfectly normal. The next, a giant piece of space debris exploded like an atomic bomb in the sky. Forest fires started immediately, crops were burned down, the landscape was scorched, and the Hopewell never recovered. Number 2. The Björketorp Runestone The Björketorp Runestone can be found in the small Swedish city of Blekinge. It's by far one of the most ominous stones anywhere on the planet. It's also one of the tallest runestones ever found measuring over 12 feet tall. It was made sometime in the 6th century, carved with a chilling message in the Proto-Norse language. Before we look at the message, it's important to know what runes were used for by the Vikings. These were normally tools to communicate with the gods. There are two different inscriptions. On one side of the rock is written something that translates to, I predict perdition. On the other side is what seems like a terrifying prophecy. It says something like, I, master of the runes, conceal here runes of great power. Plagued by maleficence, doomed to insidious death, is he who breaks this monument. And then a separate line says, I prophesy the destruction. Nobody really knows what all this stuff means, but it certainly doesn't seem good. In fact, it feels a lot like an ancient prophecy that the end is coming. Number 1. Cassandra of Troy, the Cursed Prophetess Cassandra of Troy lived under a great and terrible curse. Cassandra was the prophetess of Troy, a character straight out of Greek mythology. In fact, we're not really sure if Cassandra of Troy truly existed, like many of the characters from the Trojan War, or if she was just a plot device. Either way, she was cursed with the gift of prophecy. The Trojan priestess was dedicated to the god Apollo and was given utter and true prophecies of the future. She was also the daughter of Troy's King Priam and Queen Hecuba, and her older brother was Hector. In mythology, Cassandra was coveted by the god Apollo himself. But when she denied him, he cursed her that even though she could see the future, nobody would ever listen to her. And so it was that even as Cassandra warned the Trojans that the death of their people was imminent, nobody believed her. Troy ended up being burned to the ground, her brother was killed, and she was taken away by the cruel Greek king Agamemnon to be his slave mistress. Although it's unclear whether Cassandra was a real person, she did appear a lot in historical stories, from Homer's Odyssey to Virgil's poem Aeneid, and this suggests that even if she wasn't magical, she was probably based on a real historical figure. Thanks for watching! What do you think is the scariest way for civilization to come crumbling down? 
let me know in the comments below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye!